Sorry, it's DJ. <laughs> Good morning everyone! I am Teacher Connie and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare the following. Today, I will discuss designing an experiment to determine the factors that affect the strength of the electromagnet. Look at the pictures! What are the uses and importance of using electrical devices at home? Alright! Vacuum cleaner is also known as a vacuum or a hoover, a device that removes debris from floors, upholstery, draperies, and other surfaces. It is generally driven. The debris is collected by either a dust bag or a cyclone later disposal. Electric toy. It is used for auditory stimulation, discovery exploration, and allows creativity to expand. Electric drill. It is a drill or drilling machine, a tool primarily used for making round holes or driving fasteners. Electric fan Fans are used for circulating air in rooms and buildings, for cooling motors and transmission, for cooling and drying people, materials, or products. Telephone Instrument designed for the simultaneous transmission and reception of human voice personal type of communication crane are types of machine generally equipped with a hoist rope wire ropes or chains and sheaths that can be used both to lift and lower materials and to move them horizontally look at the illustration below Prepare the following materials. One battery, three bolts, electrical wire, and a 300 centimeter long large iron nail, tampons, and Please follow the safety precautions in doing the activity. One, make an electromagnet by winding the electrical wire around the large nail. 2. Connect both ends of the wire to a dry cell. 3. Test the electromagnet by placing some pin or thumbtacks near the nail. Does the nail attract the pins or thumbtacks? 4. Loosen the coil of wire in an electromagnet and find out how many metals are attracted to the nail. Now, Wind more coils of wire, which set up attract more metals. Let's read and learn. Electricity and magnets are closely related to each other. Electricity can produce magnets. Magnets can produce electricity. It is usually made of iron. It can attract objects such as pins, coins and other materials made of iron and steel. A nail is not a magnet, but it can be turned into one. This is done by coiling a wire around it and then letting electricity flow through it. Doing this turns the nail into an electromagnet. What is an electromagnet? Electromagnet is a temporary magnet that may be produced by making electricity flow through a wire coiled around an iron nail. It attracts like a real magnet. It can attract materials made of metals like pins and thumbtacks. The iron nail acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. 
when electricity stops flowing through a coil of wires, the nail stops attracting any metal or magnetic material. It can be made stronger by using more coils of wire. Each turn of the wire adds more force to the electromagnet. The number of dry cells also affects the strength of an electromagnet. More dry cells means more electrons flowing in an electromagnet and therefore stronger magnetism is produced. To make the electromagnet work, there must be a complete circuit through which electrons can move. When the connection to a terminal is disconnected, the electromagnet loses its ability to magnetize. The size of the iron core also matters. The greater the size of the iron core, the stronger magnetism an electromagnet has. The parts of an electromagnet are wire, battery, and iron nail or cord. They are used in appliances, modern gadgets, toys, telephones, generators, and transformers, among others. Electromagnets are used in transmitting signals through telephones, radio, and television. Commercial establishments make use of generators, transformers, and motors which are made of electromagnets. A crane that lifts heavy objects is also made of an electromagnet. For activity 1, choose the correct answer. Write your answer on the space provided for. are the answers on activity one. Did you get the correct answer? Well, very great! For activity two, write the correct word of each situation. Choose your answer from the box. Here are the answers on activity 2. For those who pass, congratulations. For those who fail, better luck next time. For activity 3, choose the correct answer. Write the answer on the space provided. Are the answers on activity 3. If you got it right, brilliant! What have you learned? Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write on the space provided for.
Here are the answers on what have you learned. If you got it right, good job! I hope that you will always remember the things that you have learned today because learning is fun! Thank you for watching and listening. Bye!